I think, like, the biggest thing I've learned so far in life is, you know, honestly, like, life's what you make of it. You can, like, regardless of your situation, if you want something, like, it's going to be up to you to go out and go do it. Mm -hmm. And, like, as much as you're going to, like, because everyone has a certain situation Mm -hmm. and, like, your situation can affect the way you can achieve something, but it's not going to completely stop you from achieving that goal. Right. And at the end of the day, if you want something, regardless of who you are or what you have, like if you have nothing or if you have everything, it's at the end of the day, it's ultimately going to be up to you Mm -hmm. if you want to achieve that goal. Like if you want success in this life, like at the end of the day, it's really up to you. Yeah. High school is very interesting because for the most part, I feel like the funny thing with high school is everyone kind of like everything like is blown into proportion. Like, I don't know, like, or it's blown out of proportion. Sorry. Um, right. There's a lot of things that like people dwell over that just aren't that like no they're like obviously they're important to you at the time but they're just like it doesn't matter like right. there's a lot of things that like at the end of the day they like don't matter and like obviously when you're in this world of high school like that's all you have mm-hmm. so everything like becomes more and more important to you things like grades and relationships well, and whatnot. I mean okay like, the grade the grades you the can, grades the grades do matter but I mean like you know one specific test or something it's probably not the end of the world yeah i mean like obviously i was talking more or what were you thinking the line, yeah. more along the lines of just, yeah like relationships or yeah. like things of that sort of speak but um well yeah so grades are important mm-hmm. uh, th- yeah grades are very important right yeah no we're, we're not we're not getting that confused no yeah def- <laughs> definitely not that's the whole reason i'm doing this project yeah exactly <laughs> give nate an a no um <laughs> Or like a B, maybe a B plus. No, come on. Um, I'd, that'd be giving you a B plus too. So eh, I mean, I could I could live with that. Could live with that. Oh well. No, but um, yeah, I know. Like, obviously, when you're in high school, everything seems very important. Mm-hmm. Like all these like gossip things and everything. But when you like step out of that and you start to like realize that there's more things out there, I feel like that's like the biggest thing that's different between high school and college is like people like freak out on stuff like there's all this gossip and like clicks and it's really like that's not how the world works right and so i feel like that's like the weird thing about high school but it's also very important to understand um best memories i just honestly like i've just loved all the time i've had with like my friends and like obviously sarah kate so i don't i don't think i've had like a specific best memory but i'm definitely gonna cherish like all the times that i've had with like these amazing people and also like non amazing people because yeah. they're I mean as much as they're awful they're very important to life right because they give you experiences and like I mean there's been some awful people that I've dealt with but that doesn't mean that like I don't appreciate them or right. I don't like thank them for what they've done to me because mm-hmm. at the end of the day like the worst people that are in your life are probably going to teach you the most. Right. Just because... That's, that's why I'm having Johnny do this. Yeah, because he's awful, and he's mm-hmm. going to teach you some great things today. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, um... I mean, the 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 good people are great, and they're... I mean, don't get me wrong, they're, they're the good people. Yeah, the but, good people um, are the good people, that is true. Yes. Cool. End quote. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, um... Yeah, I th- honestly, like, the people that do you wrong are definitely the ones that you're going to remember, mm-hmm. and they're the ones that, like, are definitely going to give you the, like, life experience that you need to carry on in life. Because, yeah. like, obviously not everyone in this world is, like, good-hearted, and you're going to meet some people that are going to try to, like, cross you, and so it's important for you to, like, learn that at this age when things aren't really that, like, important. Well, let's start with our coach, Ed. Ed Matt. So... I've known Ed for, I don't know how long, I've probably known him for about, like, six or seven years. Mm -hmm. I've only been playing travel for, I think, four or three? I don't don't know how long I've played travel. Mm -hmm. That's eh, that's not important. Eh, It's important. I'll I'll get back to that. I'll think about it. But I've known Ed for a long time. I used to, like, I used to be very intimidated by Ed. I still, I'm not not intimidated by him anymore, (laughs) but last year I was. He's, um... Yeah, what, what makes was, him intimidating? Well, he was a Marine, right? Or something, mm-hmm. yeah. He was like, a Marine, yep. yeah. So he was very intense. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, he was, like, the most insane, like, silly dude you know. Yeah. But, like, oh, when it comes to hockey, he would beat you. Not physically, but <laughs> emotionally. We're watching, we're watching actually, we're uh, watching Miracle and A-Push right now. You oh, know, yeah, that's, you know the that's liners? him. You that's know the him. liners? That's him. That's him. Yep. Yeah. He's definitely a lot more scary than Herb Brooks, though. Yeah. Like, by far scary. Oh, yeah. Herb Brooks has nothing on him. No. 
Um, yeah, he, I mean, obviously he's a sweetheart. I've like, I love Ed. Mm -hmm. He's super scary, but like, that's what you need for a hockey coach. Yeah. Okay. So the moral of the story, or at least like in high school. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, just going back to that whole thing is just like doing what you want to do. Cause at the end of the day, like it's not like your teacher's life. It's not your parent's life. It's not your friend's life. It's your life. Mm -hmm. So like do whatever is going to make you happy in this life because it's yours. And like, that's a, like at the end of the day, the only thing that you have is like what you've achieved mm -hmm. to sort of speak. Like it's important just to like, just, just be happy with what you're doing. 